Well, it was disappointing to say the least. Um, it, there was evidence from two earlier phase three trials that solanizumab was helpful in patients with mild stage disease. So this was a very large study, again in mild stage patients, that used essentially exactly the same trial design and it failed to reproduce the same level of benefit as was seen uh, in the, the first two clinical trials. In fact, uh, uh, rather than slowing disease progression by about 35 percent or so, uh, most of the parameters that were used to look at progression uh, only showed differences over 10 or 11 percent, and they were in the correct direction but uh, the size, the magnitude of the beneficial effect was not sufficient to uh, justify continued development for mild stage uh, Alzheimer's disease. I think uh, it doesn't uh, negate the possibility that passive administration of antibodies uh, is a useful therapy uh, when they're directed against uh, beta amyloid. Solanuzumab uh, was relatively unique in targeting specifically uh, algal clones, the soluble form of amyloid. Many of the other drugs in development target fibrillar amyloid, and that's the amyloid that's actually contained in the plaques that you see under the microscope after patients with Alzheimer's die. And there is considerable preliminary evidence that, um, that those drugs uh, may be more effective than solanuzumab. Another issue, though, is the stage of disease that's being looked at as uh, for these drugs in general uh, to be therapeutic agents. There is a general uh, consensus uh, that mild stage Alzheimer's disease is actually relatively late in the disease process and that we need to be treating patients at earlier stages of the disease, patients with mild cognitive impairment and even uh, primary uh, prevention, patients who have no clinical symptoms but for instance have amyloid in their brains and there is a very large study called the A4 trial with solanuzumab that is ongoing that will test the hypothesis that uh, the drug is effective at that disease stage. I think there is interest also in using higher doses of solanuzumab uh, in these uh, kinds of studies going forward in the future. So we'll see uh, how things work out. It's a broad list, and I think there are many other antibodies that are being looked at that are targeting fibrillar amyloid or a combination of soluble amyloids and fibrillar amyloid, the amyloid that deposits in plaques in patients, in patients with Alzheimer's disease. I, I think, though, people are starting to hedge their bets, and they're looking at uh, other mechanisms that are known to play a significant role in Alzheimer's disease. There are uh, a, a, a number of companies that are now targeting uh, tau uh, as a potential target for treating Alzheimer's disease, antibodies against tau and other drugs uh, that will reduce tau. Tau is the protein uh, that underlies the formation of neurofibrillary tangles, the other pathological hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. These are early phase studies, but uh, very exciting and would be very interesting to see uh, if uh, these drugs are more effective than the approach of targeting uh, amyloid. Uh, there are a number of other approaches involving inflammation and a variety of other mechanisms uh, that have that are in the process of being researched uh, that have been found in recent genetic studies to also be associated with Alzheimer's disease.